Hey, howdy, y'all. Welcome back to Skyrim. I'm just hitting continue, y'all. You already know why you're here. If you're here. It's more Skyrim. That's, that's it. Just gotta get into more of this. Alright, so today I got some things I want to do. I want to explore a little bit of Whiterun. And that Someone stole your sweet roll. As I was saying, I want to explore White Run a little bit more. I want to kind of meet some of the people. Today's gonna to be a little bit more chill, I think. I'm gonna then I'm gonna head towards uh, what was it? Riverwood, Riverwood, yeah. Because I have to go over here to retrieve the Dragonstone. But I'm gonna explore the place in daytime. Say hi to some people. I want to check in on the kids. Uh, one of my friends, shout out Xander, mentioned that in order to do some alchemy things or something, you have to eat certain things and then you'll see what they're for or something he's gonna like eat some eat some of the stuff i've been gathering let me just eat a thistle resist frost discovered from thistle oh okay okay what about a spider egg stamina damage <laughs> okay all right cool how about a snowberry resist fire got it uh i'm not gonna just eat a re what if i I'm not just gonna eat a straight up egg what is this Restore Magicka. Restore Stamina. Okay. <clears throat> Ninroot. Why does the value of ten? Why is this so valuable? I mean, for a plant. Mora Tapinella. Restore Magicka. I'll eat it. Sure, it's a plant, bro. Damage health discovered from Nern Nernroot. I, I keep saying Ninroot. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. I shouldn't have eaten it. Lavender. Resist Magic. Um, should I eat some bone meal? Damage, damage. Okay, cool. Blue Mountain Flower. Restore health. <laughs> I unpause and I take every single debuff at once. All right, let me go to the alchemy table. What up, oh, wizard guy? I thought you were already on your way to. Literally, I'm gonna beat your skull in with this hammer I have if you don't shut up, dude. I, yeah, yeah. You back up. You back up. That's what I thought. Leave me alone. I'm trying to figure things out. Damage stamina. <laughs> the said it. Stone it is a Shut up! Remember? Shut up, bro. Restore magicka. Oh, I can make this. How do I... Requires ingredient. Ingredient optional? Optional. What is, what is optional? How do I... Oh. Craft. Oh, I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Vault. Oh my god, bro. What is this dude's problem? Can you... You're literally walking to a table. You're one to talk. Berengar's Secret Fire, but that's not even your name. You know what? That's not what I wanted. Why do I have to... Oh. Talk like that again. I don't know. You could punch with a bone here. Talk like that again, bro. It's going to be the last thing you ever say. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, where are the two bickering children? No fire damage. They were here. Maybe they're up here. Really? They're not here? No, I can just take some meat. Ew. Nasty. Dog meat. This is a pretty cool little area. Look at the, look at the vibes they got going on here. This is fire. Anything down here in the cellar? Oh. Says I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. Okay. I got it. So you you want to train? I'll help you. Father says I'm. Oh too my young goodness! To train with Shut the up, sword, dude. So I practice with my fists. Shut up. Father says okay, I'm too right, young no, to train with the sword, so I practice. It's in the chest. I'm gonna steal from your father. Give me six fists. gold. Not worth it. Ooh, Brief History of the Empire. Oh, Volume 2. Volume 1 of this series described in brief the lives of the first <coughs> eight emperors of the Septim Dynasty, beginning with the glorious Tiber Septim, okay, yeah, I read about him, and ending with his great-great-great-great-grandniece, Kintira II. Kintira's murder in Glenpoint while in captivity is considered by some 
to be the end of the pure strain of Septon blood in the Imperial family. Certainly it marks the end of something significant. Uriel III not only proclaimed himself Emperor of Tamriel, but also Uriel Septim III, taking the eminent surname as a title. Interesting. In truth, his surname was Manti Mantiarco, from his father's line. In time, Uriel III was deposed and his crimes reviled, but the tradition of taking the name Septim as a title for the Emperor of Tamriel did not die with him. For six years, the War of the Red Diamond, which takes its name from the Septim family's famous badge, tore the Empire apart. The combatants were the three surviving children of Pelagius II, Potema, Sepphoris, and Magnus, and their various offspring. Potema, of course, supported her son Uriel III, and had the combined support of all Skyrim and Northern Morrowind. With the efforts of Sepphoris and Magnus, however, the province of High Rock turned coat. The provinces <coughs> of Hammerfell, Somerset Isle, Vale and Wood, Elsewhere, and Black Marsh were divided in their loyalty, but most kings supported Sepphoris and Magnus. In 3E127, Uriel III was captured at the Battle of Ichidag? Ichidag in Hammerfell. En route to his trial in the Imperial City, a mob overtook his, prisoner car his prisoner's carriage and had burned him alive within it. Oh, okay. His captor and uncle continued on to the Imperial City, and by common acclaim was proclaimed Sephiroth the I, Emperor of Tamriel. Sephiroth's reign was marked by nothing but war. By all accounts, he was a kind and intelligent man, but what Tamriel needed was a great warrior, and he, fortunately, was that. It took an additional ten years of constant warfare for him to defeat his sister Potema, the so-called Wolf Queen of Solitude. <coughs> sorry, so-called Wolf Queen of Solitude, who died in the siege of her city-state in the year 137. Sephiroth survived his sister by only three years. He never had time during the war years to marry, so it was his brother, the fourth child of Pelagius II, who assumed the throne. <coughs> The Emperor Magnus was already elderly when he took the Imperial Diadem, and the business of punishing the traitorous kings of the War of the Red Diamond drained much of his remaining strength. Legend accuses Magnus' as son and heir Pelagius III of patricide, killing his father, but that seems highly unlikely, for no other reason than that Pelagius was King of Solitude following the death of Potema, and seldom visited the Imperial City. Pelagius III, sometimes called Pelagius the Mad, well, we got a mad king here, lads, was proclaimed emperor in the 140, 145th year yeah, of the Third Age. Oh, oh, the Third Era. That's what 3E14... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Understanding some of this. I am understanding some of this. Some of it. Almost from the start, his eccentricities of behavior were noted at court. He embarrassed dignitaries, offended his vassal kings, and on one occasion marked the end of an imperial grand ball by attempting to hang himself. His long-suffering wife was finally awarded the Regency of Tamriel, and Pelagius III was sent to a series of healing institutions and asylums until his death in the Third Age 153, at Third Era, sorry, at the age of 34. Now, he didn't live too long. The Empress Regent of Tamriel was proclaimed Empress Kataria, Kataria? Kataria. Kataria, Empress Kataria I upon the death of her husband. Some who do not mark the end of the Septim bloodline with the death of Kintyra II consider the ascendancy of this dark elf woman the true mark of its decline. Her defenders, on the other hand, assert that though Kataria was not descended from Tiber, the son she had with Pelagius was, so the imperial chain did continue. Despite racist assertions to the contrary, Kataria's 46-year reign was one of the most celebrated in Tamriel's history. Uncomfortable in the imperial city, Kataria traveled extensively throughout the Empire, such as no Emperor ever had since Tiber's day. She repaired much of the damage the previous Emperor's broken alliances and bundle, bungled diplomacy created. The people of Tamriel came to love their Empress far more than the nobility did. Kataria's death in a minor skirmish in Black Marsh is a favorite subject of conspiracy-minded historians. The sage Montalius's discovery, for instance, of a disenfranchised branch of the Septim family and their involvement with the skirmish was a revelation indeed. When Cassinda assumed the throne upon the death of his mother, he was already middle-aged. Only half-elven, he aged like a Breton. In fact, he had left the rule of Wayrest to his half-brother, Uriel, due to poor health. Nevertheless, as the only true blood relation of Pelagius and thus Tiber, he was pressed into accepting the throne. To no one's surprise, the Emperor Cassander's reign did not last long. In two years, he joined his predecessors in eternal slumber. Uriel Lariat, Cassander's half-brother and the child of Kataria I and her imperial consort, Ga Galavir Lariat, 
after the death of Pelagius III, left the kingdom of Wares to reign as Uriel IV. Legally, Uriel IV was a septum. Cassander had adopted him into the royal family when he had become king of Wares. Nevertheless, to the council and the people of Tamriel, he was a bastard child of Cataria. Uriel did not possess the dyn dynamism of his mother, and his long 43-year reign was a, was a hotbed of sedition. Uriel the fourth story is told in the third volume of this series. That was a lot. I didn't get all of it, but there's like a... Father says I'm too young to train with a sword. Bro, so shut up. You know what? Just for that, I'm stealing from this cover, too. Give me your seven gold and your roll of paper. Goodbye. Alright, well, there's a lot going on in the politics of this world, I can tell you that. What y'all got? Some gold? Cool. What y'all got? More gold? What? I can't take the clothes, but I can take the gold? Okay. Why you just keep gold in the cupboard, bro? I didn't mean to take that, but that's fine. <clears throat> Another gold. Thank you. Oh, this is a... I'm just stealing everything. Oh, charcoal has to be useful for something, right? Sounds like it'd be useful for... I don't know, cooking? Use cooking spit. What do we got here? Cooking pots allow you to cook food that restores your health or provides other temporary effects. Each recipe requires specific culinary ingredients that can be found throughout Skyrim. Okay. <gasps> cabbage soup. I'm never giving up my cabbages. Cooked carp. Oh, goody. I can cook my fish. What else we got? Man, there's a lot of salmon steak. Yeah, let's make some stuff. Where did I get all this salmon from? Hello? Why do I have so much salmon? Vegetable soup. 30 cabbages, 22 potatoes. Oh, no, no, no. I, I have that amount. Okay, I was like, it takes 30 cabbages to cook. All right, cool. Ooh, and I can make poison food, too. I just made some food. That venison looks good. I'll take your dog meat, too. I'll take some of that horse meat. I'll take your mammoth snout. I mean, if you're just... Are those... Aha, uh -huh, you can't hide your cabbages from me, they're mine! Bro, all this food is just for free. For me. I'll I'll take it. I'll take it and cook it all right now. Give me I didn't even take that. Whatever. I'm gonna have to throw out some of this stuff. I'm getting close to my carry weight. Give me some leaks. Let's go. Where is this girl? Oh here. No, you're not. I heard a girl. What was that? Not a girl. I'm take the. It's a disgusting cheese wheel. Are you kidding me? I'm not. I'm not taking that. I'll take some mead though. Some wine, sure. I'll take some salmon. Dried elves ear. Is that a? Is that a thing? Yeah. What does that do? Oh, restore magicka. Cool. Oh, why are the cops coming? Why was it flashing blue? <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting. Potatoes. Give me the potatoes and the leeks. Yeah. Jugs. Alright. Can I cook some stuff with all the ingredients that I've just stolen? <laughs> no, apparently, because I don't have any... Again, I'm not giving up my... Cabbages. I guess I'm out of salt. And that's why... Ooh, it's down here. Dragon's Reach Dungeon. You're not gonna... <sighs> Dang it. Close, close, close. I think right here. Right here? Oh, not wrong direction. Perfect. First try. Lock picking increase to 16. Ooh, ooh, I can steal some things. Ooh. Um, there's not really much of. Yeah, there's not really much that I want to steal here. What's this, though? 
Hello? Oh, I'm not. No, 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 no. He's coming, dude. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be found out. Oh, there's a helmet. There's a helmet. Let me just do stem. Hi, I wasn't doing anything. Uh, bye. Lock him in there. All right. Um, <laughs> I was not caught. So if you don't get caught, then you're. F I wasn't thinking of stealing anything, dude. I I promise. Let's go. Let's go. Now I'm a real Nord. What's up? Be glad you're here in the city and not out in Riverwood. Those poor sods don't even have a wall. I know. I came from there. Does this put me out at the other? Oh, no. This is like the back side of the main area here. Okay, so you can't strafe while sprinting, which is a little weird. Must find plants, must find plants. Alright, so I will... Excuse me? Give me the fish, first of all. Huh? Why is there... Why is there a skeleton? Do the guards know about this? Do the guards know there's just a dead... Okay, 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 gosh. The guards know there's just a dead guy just chilling in the middle of the the moat here. Do they know about this? Are they aware of this? Man, look at the. Da -da -da. La -la. so beautiful. I'm in love with this music. And there it is, friends. The ugly truth. We are the children of man. Talos is the true god of man. Ascended from flesh to rule the realm of spirit. You have come. You have come to hear the word of Talos. Why, yeah, why was Talos worship out loud? Because the so-called emperor is a coward. That's okay, but like, why right. for real, coward. though? Didn't oh, it start wars? Yes. He agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the tip of an Aldmeri sword. They called it the White Oops. Gold Concordant. Put that back. Well, I call it blasphemy. A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero, not at any price. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here. And in Skyrim, we will never forsake mighty Talos. Okay. Aren't you worried you will be arrested? Uh, let them come. I have no fear. For Talos is my ally. And I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips. His voice in my throat. Okay. What can you tell me about Talos? Hello, my friend. Now he's gonna go start yapping if about this for an hour. Knowledge about mighty Talos, oh boy. You have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice, and with it he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the oh. name Tiber Septim. Here oh, in Skyrim, Talos is Tiber Septim. His proper Nord name. Okay. So great was his reign in life. When he ascended to the heavens, 
he was made Lord of the Divine. How do you know? If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. I mean, I've read about Tiber Septum. Interesting. They're the same person. Activate Shrine of Talos. Blessing of Talos added. Alright, so we're in the fourth era right now. We're in year 201 of the fourth era. That's what the that's what this means. Um, last seed, I don't know what that means. Fall, possibly. Uh, what? What's the blessing of Talos? It's not going to show up in here, is it? No. I have a few other books that I have to read. I have the fishing maps. We got some different areas here. Uh, let's see. Fishing map White Run. Got a little river. And there's two places along the river to fish, and then one that way. Okay, I don't know what that means right now. Um, can I... Hello? Why can't I up and down? There we go, okay. Um, let me read another one. So I read that. I don't think I read this one. Let me read this. The Blessings of Sheo Sheogorath. For our Lord Sheogorath, without whom all thought would be linear and all feeling would be fleeting. Blessed are the madmen, for they hold the keys to, this, to secret knowledge. Blessed are the phobic, always wary of that which would do them harm. Blessed are the obsessed, for their courses are clear. Blessed are the addicts, may they quench their thirst that never ebbs. This is like the Skyrim Beatitudes. Blessed are the murderers, for they have found beauty in the grotesque. Blessed are the fire lovers, for their hearts are always warm. Uh, the artists, for their hands, the impossible is, is made real. The musicians, for their ears, they hear the music of the soul. The sleepless, as they bask in wakeful dreaming. The paranoid, ever watchful for our enemies. The visionaries, for their eyes that see, for their eyes see what might be. The pain lovers, for in their suffering we grow stronger. The mad god who tricks us when we are foolish, punishes us when we are wrong, tortures us when we are unmindful, and loves us in our imperfection. Weird. Y'all hear this music, though? This goes so hard. Okay, did I read Saints Institute? Hello? Back. Back. Back, I say. Why can't I go... Why can't I scroll up and down here with these? That's really weird. Did I read Saints Institute? I don't think so. By Andosh Marie. No, I didn't. Author's note. This volume attempts to catalog and analyze known, suspected, and rumored facts about the two races that serve to maintain order within the Shivering Isles. It is by no means intended to serve the authoritative work on the matter, rather it is a personal effort on the part of the author to better understand these unique creatures. In service of the Lord, it is beyond the scope of this work to determine the origins of the Golden Saints and Dark Seducers. They are Daedra, and as such, their base existence is a mystery to those mortal born. The commonly held belief that all Daedra are incapable of creation suggests that even Lord Sheogorath himself is not responsible for the genesis of these races. Yet it is worth noting that the Prince of Madness has motives and powers that none may guess. To attempt to do so would only confuse the subject further. It is enough, then, to see that they exist and know that it is so. Beyond this knowledge, however, it is curious that the saints and seducers serve Lord Sheogorath unerringly. This allegiance is ultimate and eternal from all indications, but its source is unknown. Could it be that they themselves were tricked into service by the Mad God, or do they simply ally themselves with the greatest power in the realm? Previous literary works suggest that Daedra chose to serve their masters, so they might find protection and safe harbor. Clearly, the saints and seducers have this in the Shivering Isles. Indeed, they have fortresses which few not of their race are allowed to enter. They have power in the realm, acting as guardians of those who serve Lord Sheogorath. Constantly they vie for favor of our lord, fighting any who oppose him and, at times, even each other. It is reasonable to assume, then, that they have made a willing choice to take up their role in the Isles. <clears throat> character and society. So these are the guys that the the one Khajiit dude was telling us to go kill. There's like a band of them somewhere and they were like causing problems and he wanted me to go fight them. <clears throat> uh, the immediate image called mind when hearing the name Golden Saint suggests an angelic figure, elegant and benevolent. 
It is ironic then that while the Golden Saints embody this image in form, their behavior is in stark contrast to it. The Saints are a proud, arrogant race, quick to anger and cruel in their punishment. There is no question that they view all in the Isles as inferior, and make no effort to hide this in their interactions. Okay, so we got the, the Golden Races. Dark Seducers also exhibit little beyond their appearance to match their names. While they too assert their superiority over all others in the realm, they appear to have a more patient, introspective nature about them. They often appear humble in their dealings with mortals, and are known to be patient with the lesser races. In fact, the terms Golden Saint and Dark Seducer are external constructs. While the two groups recognize and respond to these names, they have their own names for their races. The Ariel and the Maskin, respectively. It is possible that the Daedra simply have no concern for the names and titles given to them by lesser beings, or perhaps they find amusement in their names. <clears throat> in the names. The names. Further research into this subject is necessary but daunting, as the saints and seducers do not freely offer personal information about themselves. Other information can be gathered from observation. It is easy to see that the two groups are strongly militaristic in their societal structure. One's strength and discipline determines one's place in society. Military commanders, for example, are revered by the subordinates. With further observation, a second distinction becomes apparent. Both societies are matriarchal in nature. Females lead the guards with, within New Sheoth and have the highest positions of power. Males, while not openly denigrated, are clearly subservient to their female superiors. It is unclear where this practice began, but has been wholly integrated into the daily lives of both races. Conflict and Conquest uh, Any resident of the Shivering Isles can confirm that it is unwise to provoke the Golden Saints and Dark Seducers. They saw oh, the flute. The flute, bro. They thrive on conflict and warfare and are quick to punish any and all who disobey. Acting in their capacity as guardians of the realm does not satisfy them, however, and so they often engage in combat with one another, despite being garrisoned in areas where they are like unlikely to interact. It is possible that this is more than an outlet for aggressive behavior. Repeated engagements between the two races may be an effort to gain favor with Lord Sheogorath. If one can triumph over the other, it would prove superiority and a right to gain sole control over the realm. The battle for Cylarn is of particular interest as both sides have been locked in combat with no hope of resolution for time beyond memory. Does this combat serve to sharpen the skills of the two sides or weaken them when they could be directed elsewhere? If the conflict cannot be resolved, why then does Lord Sheogorath not step in and settle it himself? Um, I don't know. Maybe he's not real, I don't know. Religion and Ceremony <clears throat> Little is known about the private customs of the Golden Saints and Dark Seducers. They are reclusive when it comes to matters specific to their race, particularly regarding the mysterious process by which they return to the realm in the unlikely event of their death. So they can resurrect. It is common knowledge that Golden Saints and Dark Seducers, as Daedra, cannot be killed. The Animus of the Daedra is cast back into the darkness of Oblivion, and can return to the realm to take form once more. But reports of the time it takes for a Daedra to return to the realm from the waters of Oblivion are anecdotal and inconclusive. The process by which this return occurs remains shrouded in mystery. Based on behavior patterns and strength of numbers, it can be deduced that the stronghold for each race plays some major part in this process. Common phrases in the language, such as May the chimes call ya home, suggest that rather than merely a metaphor, sound may play some role in the sequence of events. It is believed that the chimes, referenced by saints and seducers, do indeed exist and are considered almost holy relics. Attempts to gain information about these chimes or the processes by which they are used has been met with exceptional hostility and have so been abandoned. Any and all information regarding the Golden Saints and Dark Seducers, particularly relating to private customs and origins, should be brought to the attention of the author immediately. The greater the scope of our knowledge, the better our ability to understand these compelling creatures. And that's the end of that book. Alright, I'm going to read... I think there's one other book that I haven't read. Maybe heret... I think heretic... Oh my goodness. I think it's heretical thoughts that I haven't read. Again, why can I not... Just go up and down. That's That's very weird. Oh, I can I can if I if I use like the WASD. I'm pretty sure it's heretical thoughts that I haven't read. 
Um, yes. I haven't read this. I may or may not have read the other ones. Let me check. I did that. I read that. I read that. This is Mikhail the Bard. Who I met. Okay. So I'll read Heretical Thoughts later, because it might be long. But let me continue. I want to do some things. I don't want to bore you guys completely. I just read like five books in a row. I'm sorry. But I love reading lore and getting super into these kinds of games and like really playing the role in a role-playing game, you know? I don't know what I'm trying to do. I don't know why I'm trying to climb this. What in the world am I doing right now? <laughs> I'm looking for plants. Give me some stuff. <clears throat> Alright, so... What time is it currently? 4.48 p.m. So I, I wasted the day away inside of the mean hall or whatever it's called. What is the... That's not what I wanted. Dragon's Reach. That's it. The, the main hall. I wasted the day away there. It's going to be dark soon. So I... We got some test dummies. Oh, actually, I do want to test something. Can you... Um, can you get your arrows back if you shoot them? Here to be a companion? Well, they just let me in, so you can. there's probably no more room. Hi. What's up, Rhea? I mean, if you're talking companions, um... You need a companion? That's a wall. Oh, you're you're just okay. Oh, got more to say. Who's in charge around here? The circle are the ones who parcel out the jobs. That's Ayla, Skior, and the brothers, Farkas and Vilkas. Codlike advises them, but he doesn't really give orders. All those names sound fake. Who are the companions? Only the most famous warrior band in all of Skyrim. Have you been living with the Horkers? Uh, yeah, I guess. Blood is spilled and our blades sing to the glories of Ispramor. You made that word up right now. This is life, brother. The struggle Don't call me brother, brother. Your What's your problem, brother? Why'd you join the companions, brother? Are you kidding? I've wanted to be with them since I was a little girl. Haven't you heard the stories of Codlight no, and No, have we not established this? I don't remember things, apparently. Skior says it was more <sighs> like 40, but he's just being modest. Where else would I want to be but here? Learning from them, fighting at their sides. All right, then. Okay. Jeez, rude. You want to... You want to be a target dummy? Be careful. I am. Shut up. Where'd my arrow go? Wait, where'd my arrow go? Oh, it's gone. Boink. Okay. Hello, who are you? Ayla the Huntress. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Just go up to some stranger. Where do you stand on the war? Coblack <laughs> says not to worry about it. I worry that a bunch of snowberries are out there earning glory while we stay out of it. Snowberries? Is that a slur? But I will follow the old man's lead, as ever. I mean, I know about that. Well, why did she join the companions? My mother was a companion, and her mother, and all the women in my family back to Harati Blackblade. I stayed with my father in the woods until I was old enough for my trial. We hunted everything there was to hunt. Good training. Ma didn't live long enough to see me join, but I fight to honor her and all my shield sisters through time. That's cool. Maybe she can tell me more about them. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? Nope. An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Oh, are these... Is this the same group that took down the giant? We don't just take in any milk drinker who stumbles in. I don't drink Talk milk, dude. Like I got a milk allergy. It takes to be a companion. <laughs> okay, where's God like? Until next time. Is he in this meat hall looking place? Um, y'all got cabbages? No, you're lucky. I don't have cabbages because I'm taking that on site, bro. It is on site well, with these cabbages. You said that. Shut up. I'm going in your rascal. Hey, you at it again? I knew it. Come on now. Watch this the good. Oh my goodness. Why are they fighting? Nice. You're... You're... Uh, I've heard of you. you Who are you? Tilma the Haggard. Yeah, you look pretty haggard. Look at those eyes. Girl, you need some sleep. What's your problem? 
Where's where's dude in charge? Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Where's the dude in charge? Is he down in the basement? Oh, they're fighting for him. The Orvaskar living quarters? Yo, what in the world? You just... I haven't seen you before, have I? No. We met? I'm sorry if I forgot. What are you staring at? In charge of what? I'm in charge of me and you're in charge of you. If you're looking to join up, Codlack's... Yeah, where is Codlack? Oh, okay. Wow, rude. A man of my station has many debts. I'm not much use at labor or learning, but I can throw a punch with the best of them. The companions let me fight for gold, so I fight. I want to fight for gold. We're the best damn fighters in Skyrim. At least some of us are. Oh, throwing shade at others. Okay. Be careful. I... Did you just come out of the ground? Excuse uh, me? Fresh blood. Hope you know I'm not talking to you. Stuff. I'm not talking to you. Oh. The third era timeline. Third era, an abbreviated timeline. Okay, let's see how abbreviated this is. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh lord. Okay, maybe maybe I don't care about all this. I'm not going to read everything. I just want to read like a little intro here. <clears throat> it has been said that the citizens of the Empire who make the same mistakes as their forebears deserve to suffer the same fate. And while this may be true, it's hard to deny that the Empire's history is so long and our forebears have made so many mistakes it's sometimes hard to keep track. This work is meant to serve as a concise compilation of the Empire's most recent events. In this, our current age, what we refer to as the Third Era. Well, now we're in the Fourth Era. It is a period of time that has, a, that has as yet, comprised less than 500 years, but it should at least serve as a starting point for those who wish to study our Empire's vast and varied history, and maybe, just maybe, prevent the repeat of a previous disaster. It is also worth noting that when viewed in such a succinct, succinct, sorry, structure, one truly gets a sense of how, just how often, I can't read today apparently, just how often our great empire has changed leadership. Indeed, it can be argued that much of the empire's history in these past five centuries is the changing rule of that very empire itself. First century, zero. Beginning of third era when all provinces in Tamriel are unified. Okay, Tiber Septim dies in 38. Who is Talos? Tiber Septim is, is Talos. And crowning of Emperor Pelagius. Assassination of Emperor Pelagius, crowning of Empress Kintira. Death of Empress Kintira, and crowning of Emperor Uriel I. Then he dies, Uriel II comes in. I read about this. Okay, then, then uh, Uriel II dies, Pelagius comes in. Uh, Pelagius dies, Emperor An Antiochus comes in. Then the second century, there's a war. The Knights of the Nine are founded by Sir Amy Lannis, Jamie Lannister. <laughs> Empress Kin Kintira the second dies. Pelagius the third is born. Uriel the third is proclaimed the emperor. War of the Red Diamond. I also think I read about that. <clears throat> uh, Frostfall. Actual death. Ooh, actual death of Kin Kintira the second. Oh. So she died nine years after she was thought to be dead. Interesting. Then Euro III died, Emperor Sephiris I, death of Potema, the Queen of Solitude. Emperor Sephiris I died, Emperor Magnus comes in. Magnus dies, Pelagius III comes in, Pelagius III dies. Kataraya takes the throne from her husband. Yeah, that's what I read about. And she becomes the Empress. Then we have the third century. She dies, and then her son Cassander becomes Emperor. Then he dies in Uriel IV because of Emperor. Then he dies in Sephiris II. Uh, invasion of the Empire by the Lich. Cameron Usurper. Cameron Usurper controls the Dwinan region with Nightmare Host. Okay. Uh, then he's defeated. Emperor Uriel V is crowned. Uh, some conquests. Invasion of Akavir by the forces of Uriel Septim V. Uh, then he dies, and Septim the Emperor Uriel the Sixth is 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 the crowned. He gains full power as emperor. Uh, then he dies, and Empress Morihatha is crowned. The publication of the second edition of a pocket guide to the empire. <laughs> Just carry a little pocket guide to little history. Uh, assassination of Morihatha and crowning of Emperor Pelagius the Fourth. 
Yagar Tharn betrays Emperor Euro Septim the Seventh. Where did Where did he come in? Where Where'd the seventh dude come in? Okay. Regional wars throughout Tamriel. Uh, another war. Defeat of Yagar Tharn. The founding of Orsinium. Fifth century assassination of Lysandus, the king of Daggerfall. Oh my goodness, more stuff happens. Euro Septim is assassinated. The warp in the West. Don't know what that is. I don't understand. The Blood Moon Prophecy comes to pass. Don't know what that is. Uh, third edition of Pocket Guide to the Empire. Nice of the Nine are reformed. Okay, cool. There's a lot of stuff. You're a talker, eh? I didn't say a single word. I simply walked behind you, good sir. Where's Catavar, Ka whatever his name is? Get out of here. Oh, Again, you need more to, to say. No, I don't. Rio, shut up. We all do. Codlack, there he is. Here, this dude. Stranger comes to our home. <laughs> What's up? Who are the companions? Your question carries more weight than you may know, newcomer. The sort of thing some of us spend our lives pondering. The difference between a noble band of warriors and a ragged bunch of assassins is as thin as a blade's edge. I try to hold us to the right path. Okay. Um, what if I want to join? Know? Here. Let me have a look at you. Hmm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. I got a pretty strong spirit, not gonna lie. Master, you're not truly considering accepting What do you mean? I walk in here, I show up, and I, I say, let me join. Master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in your vasker for those with a fire burning. <gasps> oh my goodness, there's more books. Oh. Apologies. But perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Neither have I. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It's a cool armor set it you got, no dude. Difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, boy? <laughs> you dare question my skill? Um, if I'm being honest, I have much to learn. That's the spirit. Vilkis he respects me. He respects Vilkis, me. Wow, well, okay. I Alright, speak with the leader of the companions. I don't know if I'm going to read all this. How long is this? Oh my goodness gracious. There is a lot of reading in this game. Oh, I don't think I can read all this. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to read that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not reading this right now. Not here. Out in the yard. Come on. Alright, let's go. Why do you walk so slow? Can huh? you, You're blocking the door. Huh? What do you mean, huh? You're blocking the door. Oh, I'm just a servant, dear. You want to talk to one of the companions, I'm sure. Shut up, Tilma the Haggard. <gasps> he just disappeared. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Alright, Vilkas. Let me show... Let me show you what I got. I'm Shut up! I just got here, dude. Chill. I'm not gonna. The old man said to have a look at you. <clears throat> so, let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry, I can take it. You sure? Mind. How's the newcomer looking? There you go. Ah! Wow, that stamina goes down quick. Huh. Not bad. Next time won't be so easy. Okay, and I just make it. But for now, you're still a wealth to us, but so you do what we tell you. Here's yeah, my fair. sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. Okay. I want to kill things and make money, so absolutely I'm on board with this. It's a sick looking sword, look at that. What? You got a problem? Man, everybody here is so rude. Uh, ooh. Some red mountain flowers. Alrighty. Cool, so I started a whole quest. I don't know what he's talking about. I'm not gonna break into people's houses. 
I kind of want to check out some of the places around here in the daytime, but it's currently almost night. I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days, the hard work. Okay. The Bannered Mare. Oh, what is this? Let me know if you want anything. Oh, I've been here. This is. Clean mug around here somewhere. This is where Hulda is and Mikhail. Well, there he is. Look at him. I've been thinking Look of at him, dude. Bro, 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 bro. Hey, dude. Look. I have right your. I have a helmet. Look. Look. I got. I got. I stole it. I stole. I mean. I mean. I. I bought it with money. I ain't done nothing. Never said you did. Goodbye. Back out here. Time to see what the other buildings have in store for us. Nightshade. Dragon's Tongue. Nightshade. I don't, wait, I don't think I had... Dragon's Tongue. What is that? Dragon's Tongue added. Resist fire. Discovered from Dragon's Tongue. Interesting. Tundra Cotton. If you need portions, you should try Arcadia's Cauldron. Is that right here? No, it's a justice scale thing. What is this? Oh, this is Arcadia's Cauldron. Wait the music. Wait the music. Wait, wait, wait. Wait the music. Dude. How is this music so good? Ooh. Oh. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. Be down in a minute. Don't don't worry about me. <laughs> like why is he up there? Oh, dude, this... This music. Can she see me? No. Ah, she saw me, she saw me, she saw me. Okay, well, you don't have cabbage, so... You're off the hook for now. She can't see me, right? Can I steal from her wardrobe? Can I get robes? It's not worth it. Oh my goodness. What's up? You look rather pale. I'm just sitting here enjoying the music. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. You're one to talk. Why do you look? But do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. What's the rattles? You trying to sell me stuff that I don't need? Several elixirs for sale. Oh, I have some frost salts for you from Ferengar. Ah, I forgot about splendid, that quest, I guess. Splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Ferengar first. You can I have that? Oh. I want to try it on Rhea. Expect some compensation. <laughs> um, here. These what you got? Suffice. What you got? What you got? Ferengar's frost salts removed, potion of illusion, enhanced stamina, and brief invisibility. Interesting. So you're a healer. Of a sort. I don't have formal training in the restoration school, but something just as good. Within these walls, I have all that I need to brew a potion for nearly any ailment. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or wit bane I've cured since I opened this shop, I'd be a rich woman indeed. Interesting. Uh, you ever think of returning to Cyrodiil? Why? Because I'm a proud citizen of the Empire? Because the Stormcloaks only want Nords in Skyrim? Are you not a Nord? The I don't know. The Stormcloaks can rot in oblivion for all I care. I've lived in this city for 20 years. 20! I didn't mean to anger you, madam. I'm sorry. I'd like training in alchemy. I think I can teach you a thing or two. Oh yeah, what you got? Ooh. No thank you, actually. That's a lot of money. I don't have the cash for that. Um, yeah, I only have 174 gold. I literally, I can't afford that. Herbalist's Guide to Skyrim. Agnita Falia. Those avoiding this northern province due to claims of barbarism or concerns over climate are doing themselves a disservice. In fact, Skyrim has a wealth of materials that every alchemist would do well to avail himself of. I have traveled extensively throughout this land, and here are but a few of my findings. Bleeding Crown. I think I have some of those. 
The caps of these mushrooms do indeed appear smeared with blood, although it's often hard to see in the dark, damp places in which they grow. Not uncommonly found in Skyrim, their abundance is countered by the difficulty in acquiring them. Yeah, sorry, your abundance is countered by the difficulty in acquiring them. As any experienced herbalist knows, the darkest of caves often conceal far more than mere mushrooms. Nonetheless, these potent fungi, when combined with certain powdered antlers, produce a mixture rendering one quite susceptible to poison. Their usefulness is also quite apparent when mixed with lavender, creating a substance highly resistant to magic. Death Bell. Ooh. That looks like a pinecone. Folklore abounds about this flower found in the swamps of Hjalmark. Some stories claim it grows where unfortunate deaths have taken place. Others insist it grows first and then lures unsuspecting people and animals to their doom. I have found no direct evidence to support these stories. Indeed, I found the flowers look difficult. No, oh, sorry. Indeed, I found the flowers difficult to locate at all. While it is most well known for its use in poisons, it would be remiss to overlook that the blooms of the death bell are very effective in mixtures for boosting one alchemy skill. Interesting. Okay, so use them to boost skill. <clears throat> Dragonfly. A surprising number of insects survive in Skyrim's climate, many thriving in the lower southern areas of the province. Dragonflies can be found in a great many places, and while catching them can be a daunting prospect, the reward is well worth the effort. It was beyond the scope of my research to determine whether the orange and blue dragonflies are fully different breeds or merely simple color variations, but through experimentation I found that the orange dragonfly, when combined with very hardy barnacles found along the coast, transfer some of their flighty nature, giving the herbalist some very nimble, nimble fingers. Okay. Hagraven Claw. I don't think I've seen a Hagraven. I've heard about them, though. The claws of a Hagraven are best obtained in shops. It is inadvisable to suggest one collects them oneself. These creatures have traded in their humanity for access to powerful magics, and the transformations they undergo infuse their entire beings with some element of that power. Ingesting the powdered claws makes one more resistant to magic, but an especially curious property of the claws is revealed when mixed with snowberries, often found in Skyrim's higher elevation. I found myself capable of comprehending enchantment, enchantments I had believed mystifying after ingesting the mixture, and have passed this knowledge on to several court wizards who were grateful for the knowledge. Jazz Bay. There was a time when it would be considered treason to pick one of these grapes without express permission from the Emperor himself. It is my understanding that although growers in Skyrim were successful in improving the fruit's survivability, it came at the cost of flavor. No longer is it quite the prize it once was, and yet, growing amidst the volcanic tundra of East March, it is still immensely useful for concocting potions. Mages value it highly, as it can be combined with simple garlic to enhance the regeneration of magicka. Huh. While no longer against the law, picking these grapes in large amounts is best kept to oneself. Luna Moth Wing As with the dragonflies, I was taken aback by the number of butterflies, moths, and other insects that managed to survive in Skyrim. The Luna Moth is especially beautiful. Its thin, almost ephemeral wings seem too delicate to hoist anything into the air, giving them an almost magical appearance. Indeed, that sense extends to the properties they exhibit. When crushed and distilled, an action I admit was difficult to perform at first, no matter my resolve to discover all that Skyrim has to offer, these creatures are simply that beautiful. While they can be used for creating poisons that damage magicka, I feel that would be a waste of their potential. Do not be alarmed if, when the wings are broken down almost completely, they almost they appear to almost disappear under your mortar. That very quality makes the wings quite effective in potions of invisibility. Hmm. Tundra cotton. I just picked some of this. Not all Nords are savages wrapped in animal skins howling at the moon. There are a wide variety of fabrics worn throughout the land, thanks in thanks in no small part to the stubborn tundra cotton plant. It soaks up what rain it can in the plains west of Whiterun, and blooms frequently. While it does not exhibit any of the more striking alchemical properties, it is a staple in potions for not only fortifying magicka, but for resisting spells as well. I wonder if that quality is what allows them to have adapted so well to this climate. Nightshade. The name and shape of this plant are known to all, long understood to be one of the more potent components in many poisons. The average Nord keeps his distance from the bright purple flowers nestled among dark leaves. It is exceedingly effective as a pure poison, but can also be combined with other compounds to stiffen joints as well. It is thus favored amongst those who wish to disable their opponents in battle, and can be found coating the blades of many of the more unsavory characters in Skyrim. Interesting. Do let me know if I can be of service. 
Uh, I think- oh, that's probably her bedroom or something. I'm not gonna go busting in there. You seem kind. Uh, cool. What do you need, my friend? Nothing, I'm just looking at you. Okay, bye. What else we got in here? What time is it currently? 9.29 p.m. Hi. Can I not get in there because it's nighttime? Yeah, I can't get there because it's nighttime. Alright, well, I'm sure I'll be back. So, I think now is a good time to probably continue some of my quest stuff. Let's go... No, we... What? What? Stop! Stop! What? Ooh, I didn't know I could do this. That's... different. That's cool. Okay, remove that. I think it's time we head to retrieve the Dragonstone. So I'm gonna go to Riverwood. I'm gonna head back there. Oh man, sorry. This area is so beautiful. How do I leave? There, okay. Well, I think all these places are locked now. Yeah, I can't. You don't know where the dragon is. I hmm. dragon, I saw a dragon. What is what is what is a house Carl? What? I am charged with protecting the yard from any and all threats. Oh, you're that you're left. Okay. Have many enemies, more so in time. Yeah, I saw you in the so you can imagine in the other dangerous. place. Oh yes, there have been attempts on the Jarl's life. More than one would-be assassin has met his end at the tip of my blade. Take what threats does the Jarl face? Dragons, Stormcloak assassins, ambitious and unscrupulous nobles. Sometimes I think his own children want him dead. And those the little, like, six-year-olds I talked to? Assaults on his sanity are another matter entirely. I don't know what happened to the other kid, but there were, there were definitely two of them. Obsequious functionaries and incompetent Obsequious, I love the, that word. Sadly, I'm not allowed to eliminate them. Well, not yet, anyway. <laughs> Balgruff and I share a battle bond. We met as youths and forged our friendship in the fires of war. When he became Jarl, I insisted on serving as his protector. He had no cause to argue. Cool. Gods, you are curious. I'm sorry, I'm trying to learn about the lore. Sir. I'm not trying to be a I'll leave. Bye. 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 I'm leaving. I'm going back to Riverwood. Unbelievable. The people here are just so rude. They're not willing to share their entire life stories with me, and I can't understand why. Am I that much of an insufferable person? I'm just simply curious. That is all. Look at all these mountains and everything. That's crazy. Where does one get a horse? White run stables? How much are horses? I may want to look into that. Excuse me? Why are you asleep? I want to buy a horse. About to steal your sweet roll. Ha! Ah, it's mine now. Okay, just checking that no one's going to come after me for stealing your sweet roll. What's up? Lilith Maiden Loom? Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day? Yeah, I did several good deeds, actually. Looking for a horse? Yeah. I own these stables, but Skullvar can help you with a purchase. Is this Skullvar? Got the fleetest steeds in all of Skyrim. <laughs> snap out of, out of sleep. Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. How much? A thousand go never mind, never mind. I do not have the coin actually. So goodbye. <laughs> I don't even have two hundred gold. How much gold do I have? Yeah, one seventy four. I'm getting there. So let me see. Skills. Ooh. Whoa. Speed. 
speech 30. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I knew the, like, speech 100. Like, I knew the, I knew about those memes. I knew they're from this, but I didn't know it was, like, a constellation thing. That's beautiful. What are these constellations? This looks like a hand holding an arm. Or this could be a staff. This is a dude. Yeah, this is another arm. So this looks like a dude. Is that an eye patch, I think? The beer, he's yelling. He's got a staff in one hand. And a hand in his other hand. Uh, this is another dude with a horned helmet wearing... I mean, holding a battle axe. Interesting. And this is... A little stealthy dude. Oh, I get it. This is... No, I don't get it. <laughs> this is... Okay, this is like stealth assassin guy. This is magic guy. This is melee guy. Okay, so more... Th yeah, so here we have like light armor, sneak, lock, picking, pickpocket, speech. Then we have magic stuff. Alchemy, illusion, conjuration, destruction, restoration, alteration, enchanting. Then we have the... The more combat stuff. Smithing heavy armor, block two-handed, one-handed, archery. Mmm. Mm, cool. How does one... How does one magic? Heal would probably be a good one to have. Let me throw that on my favorites, I guess. Battle cry, targets flee for 30... A, go, a gout of fire. It does 8 points per second. Huh. Yeah, sure. So I can go... Sparks. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> Shock the horse real quick. Need a ride? What's up? You take me places? No. I'd rather explore the world on my own, thanks. Healing. How does one... How do I heal myself? I'm scared to hold it down and waste magic, because I don't know if it regenerates or not. Ah, but I guess the only way to figure out is to do it, so let's see. Oh, it does regenerate. Oh, okay, cool. Can I heal myself? I didn't read about that. <coughs> oh yeah, heals the caster 10 points per second. Okay. Very cool. And then I can... That's cool. All right, back to the south. I guess I have to, I have to, I have to go this way, right? Like, yeah, this would take a little, little path around here. So I don't, I, I doubt that there's much. For me to explore here right now. So I think I'm just gonna book it. But we'll see. I am in love with this world. Okay. Is there like a toggle run function or, or like a turn off toggle run? Sorry, my my um my nose is very itchy from my my being sick, you know. The sick, sick. Oh, you can turn on and off survival mode. Let me know if I should do survival mode or not, or if it kind of ruins a first playthrough, or like makes it unnecessarily difficult. Let me know how that is. Because I might do it if it's worth it. But I don't know. Uh, I, okay, I don't think there's going to be... Oh, maybe controls? I don't think there's going to be a toggle setting. I think that's just keybinds. Yeah, because it's, it's toggle run, but I would prefer it on hold to run. That's how I prefer my runs in games. But we'll see. What's up, bro? Disrespect the law I disrespect am not. I will disrespect your face when I smash it in with this hammer. So, shut up. Third person is kind of cool, actually. Not going to lie. But the first person... What are you doing that for? Is co doing what? Running around? Oh, look at that. Physics. 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 Okay, anyway. Uh, that's what I think of your signs, bro. Hi. Out of trouble, kinsman. Always, always. Unless you, uh... Unless you want trouble. Where's that guard that said he was kind of sad that there wasn't any trouble? 
I have to have a talk with. Okay, all right. Let's get out. Let's get out of here. Um, what do we got? Windhelm. I can't read that. Kidder. Written. Okay. Iverstead. Winterhold. Solitude. Solitude is that way? Oh, I guess it is. Wait, no. I, th I thought Solitude was north. Oh, it's north and west. Okay. Alright, let's go back to Riverwood. Look at that skybox. It's a cloudy night. Oh my goodness, I'm just trying to look at the water. Ugh, I don't know, man. Something... Something about just... The, the graphics of this game is so charming. Oh, who are you? What's up? The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. Why are you trying so Stay hard to recruit? Sharp. What's up? Can't wait to kill another Volfric. Okay, boys. I'm sorry. I'm leaving. I mean, I don't think I'm with Ulfric. But I was seen with him. I was in that cart. And we were being hauled off to our deaths. So I kind of don't want to anger anybody who thinks I might even be with him. I am... I, just, I, I can't get enough of this scenery, dude. I'm just so... in love with this graphical style. This is so sick. Oh, we got some wolves up here. I'll fight some wolves here. Give me some thistles. Oh! Oh, oh, what in the world is that? Okay, it's just it's just a normal wolf. Okay, it looked it looked different for a second. I thought it, it looked like a horned dude. That was like running at me on all fours for a second. That was that was scary. I legitimately got scared from that, but it's fine. That's literally just a wolf, and I am not getting attacked by a horned dude on all four. Yo. These wolves want to test me, I'll come at them. Any more mushrooms? Or other oh 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 hey there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Give me some of those mushrooms. <gasps> oh, there's my little friend Moose again. He's here. He's just chilling. What is up, bro? I respect your authority in these parts. As a king of the land. Hi. <laughs> the way he's like creeping up towards me slowly. Why are you? Why is he creeping like that? A little suspicious, bro. Okay, so if I reach at the bottom, it does like a a bottomed out thing, and then takes a while to regenerate. I mean, it always takes a while to regenerate. But hello, good day, sir. So I need to take this. Back here to wait no. Not to Hadvar and his what was that his cousin? Alvor whatever. Is that his name? It was Dorothy. Where am I taking I forgot where I'm taking this. How do I where's my journal? Where's my quest? What am I what am I doing here? <laughs> um <clears throat> Ferengrass Secret Fire, Yarl Balgriff's Court Wizard has asked me to retrieve a Dragonstone. Oh yeah, the Dragonstone from Bleak Falls Barrow that's nearby. Oh, I got it. Okay, let's go. So this is going to be in a cave along the mountainside here, I'm assuming. Uh, 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 mushroom. Uh, more mushroom. More mushroom? No. Dude, this music. I literally, I, I'm going to lose my mind listening to this music. This is too good. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim. Now that's what I call a moon. Look at that, dude. It's such a peaceful night. Just chilling. Just wandering around. I'm just out here at night. You hear these little... Oh, okay, it's a bunny, it's a bunny. I got scared. What's up? You got a family? You got 
You got a you got loved ones? Not anymore. Come here, give me your pelt. Ooh, a raw rabbit leg. I'll take it. I can probably cook it. Do I need salt to cook it though? Okay, where in the world am I headed? Am I going in the right direction? Oh, this is up here. I'm not quite sure if this is correct. But I... Alright, well, I took a major shortcut there, but it's fine. Ooh, more mushrooms? Yes! Took a major shortcut, it's fine. I'm headed up here to get the dragon stone from the dude. It's probably not a dude, actually. It's probably just in the cave. This is the place I was looking at earlier, right? With the arched archways. What in the world am I... Aw. Look at Riverwood. Hello? Hello? Now ain't this a surprise. What? 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 A bandit? Ah! <gasps> Skill issue. Are you prepared to die? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Got him. Easy. Easy. Oh, oh, oh. Dodge and weave. Take your money. Take your money. Nothing else cool. How did I miss? Why is combat so janky? Wait to count out your coin. No, you. Gonna rip you open. Yeah, if you can hit me, maybe. Skill issue. Skill issue. Easy. Oh, I got hit. Uh, okay. I'll take your coin, sure. Ooh, you have an iron helmet, too. This armor, oh my goodness, it's 30 weight, but it's worth 125. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's... It's kind of cool, though. I could make good money off of that. Get blocked, block the arrow, come here. That's what I thought. Oh. <laughs> Get absolutely slammed into the ground. Ooh. Ooh. Garnet. Let's go. Arrows. I don't need that. I don't need that. Ooh. Fur bracers. And sure. I'll take that. What do we got? Where's the bracers? Here we go. Nice. Nice. Okay. So it's just the shield that I have. Hide shield. Wait, four. What is the, what is the weight on that shield? Actually, I didn't... I don't think I looked. 12 with 100 value. I'll, I'll take it, sure. I'll see if I can sell it somewhere. Can I just sell it to anybody? Oh, 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 look at the... Oh, oh, look at the northern lights. Oh my goodness. Y'all know what I gotta do. No, TFC. No, 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 wait. TFC 1. Because that freezes things. And then TM hides. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. I gotta get a good shot of this here. Can I... Can I back up to... I don't know what it, what's a good place to take a picture from. Like here? No. Lower. What in the world is happening? There we go. Wow. Look at that. That's so beautiful. Look at the... Man, if this was a cloudless night, this would look even cooler. As it stands right now, though, it's still pretty cool. Wow. Alright. <clears throat> anyway. Back to this. That's so sick. Lantern. <laughs> that view with the music? Unparalleled. You don't mind if I just sit after killing a few of you? Very cool. What you got here? I'll steal your stuff. Ooh, coin purse. <gasps> 21 gold! Ooh, 21.
Oh. <laughs> Dude. This is incredible. What y'all got? Ooh, salt. Yes. I need that to cook stuff, right? That's what I need. The salt. That's why I couldn't make any more recipes, right? I'm assuming. I don't think this is the way to go at all. But ooh. We got a chest. What's here? 57 gold. Potion of minor healing. Scroll of harmony. Value 500. Creatures and people up to level 12 nearby won't fight for 60 seconds. Uh, wow. Target takes five points of frost damage to health and stamina. Ooh, wow. I might prefer this. I also haven't taken that. I, I can sell that. I can, I can sell that. I don't care if people don't fight. Let me compare this to my other weapons and see what I've got. So I know that this is obviously the best because it's two-handed, but what are my one-handed weapons looking like? So that's a nine damage, but it does five points of frost damage. This sword I have to deliver, so I can't keep. The iron great sword, I'm assuming, is also three. I may just... Hmm. Yeah, let me stick this on my favorites. Let me try this. Iron War Axe of Cold. This is my my little 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 dinky shield. Oh my goodness, this music is unparalleled. <laughs> the Northern Lights. All right now, how does one? get to... I have to go to the other place around here. This away. Correct. I need to... Yeah, I need to do like a little loopy-loo around here. Leak Falls Barrow. I'm completely stuck. I should not be going this way, but I am. I just need to get over here! Let me get over there! Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. How do you... What? What? How am I supposed to... I'm gonna... Risk it. Oh, okay. I was expecting massive fall damage, but that was fine. So this is the... This has to be the correct way. No, not here. Dang it. Where do I... Where do I go? How does one get in? What in the world is this? Ew. Why is it all rooty? That's kind of cool, though, not gonna lie. How does one get in here? Where's the entrance? Maybe here? Mayhaps? Oh, there's a little hut. Who liveth here? Anise's cabin. Are you Anise? You are. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Somehow I doubt that. I think you're part of a greater conspiracy. It's tough just okay, okay, alright. Well, I'm gonna steal some of your stuff. Do you have cabbages, perchance? What you got in the dresser? Nothing cool. Um... Petty soul gem. Nah, it's not worth it. Ten... It's tough ten gold. Shut up. I'll here, beat I'm you to a pulp woman if you don't... Shut up. Okay, how do I... Get up. Is that Nern root? No, it's just fern. Why can't I jump? Excuse me? That was weird. Thistle? <laughs> that was the worst impression of my axe that I've ever heard. Mm, I don't like it rainy. Makes it dreary. How do I get up here? I'm so confused. I'm so confused right now. How does one... <clears throat> How does one get up? Oh, I should mark the places along the White Run River here that are good for farming. I mean, not farming, not fishing. How does one get up? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. We're gonna test the verticality of this game with a little bit of uh, parkour. I'm a professional rock climber, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Up the side of the mountain. Straight up scaling the mountain. 
I got higher. I got oh, 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 oh no way this works. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm falling. Now I'm falling. Now I'm falling. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No way this works. No shot. No shot this works. No shot this works. Dude. What in the world? This works. <laughs> Just scaled up a sheer cliff face. Lake Falls Barrow discovered. I mean, I didn't get up here legitimately, but I made it. I think. Okay, there's some enemies over there. I'm seeing on the on the on the HUD. So you get there from here, possibly. I need to know. I really just want to know how you get up here normally. So yeah, I think it is from there, and then you're supposed to run here, and then get up there like this. That kind of makes sense. Alright, bring it on. Yeah? Give me, give, give me some frostbite. Aha, I have that. How about you? What do you got? Hunting bow? Is that different from my longbow? Da 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 it is. Uh, how does one... How does one drop? Oh, R. There we go. Oh, I had two longbows. I don't I don't need two of them. I'll take that one, sure. Hunting bow, hunting bow, hunting bow, hunting bow favorites. Okay. What do you got? Eight gold. Iron battle axe. Is that a... Is that two-handed? That looks two-handed. About to say, why is this music so loud? And then I realized I said it that loud. Get blocked. Yeah, take your frostbite. Ooh. Unlucky, sir. Ushroda. Yes, give me your things. Okay, okay. Not the biggest fan of the blood covering my vision. But that's fine. What's this? Acorn? I feel like I should be blowing a horn across the valley. So I made it. It's a very dreary place. Bleak Falls Temple. Let's go. Let's get this stupid wizard stone. Oh, dude, the light coming in through the. Look at the. Look at the rays of light. Ugh, oh, y'all know how I feel about light, man. You know how I feel about. Ooh, a skeever. Oh, this is a skeever. Okay, it's just a big. Started the Golden Claw. Retrieve the Golden Claw. Huh? What's the Golden Claw? I've overheard a group of bandits talking about a Golden Claw that they've recently stolen. Apparently one of the bandits has taken the claw further into Bleak Falls Barrow. I'm all for stealing a claw. Let's get her done. No. No one's here. No, no, you didn't detect anything. I'm gonna try some magic out here. Do you enjoy burning, good sir? Yeah. Cook you to a crisp, my dude. Steel War Axe. So this does more damage than my Ice Axe, but my Ice Axe does ice damage. Missed, coward. You're bad at the game here. Here, have some of that. Yeah, enjoy burning alive. Now I dance on your corpse. What do you got for me? Gold and arrows. Sick. What's my carry? Ooh, we're getting up there. I need to sell some of my stuff. 
Another skeever. Who is the? Y'all killed... What's rumbling? What's rumbling? Lockpick. That's cool. Another skeever. I'm liking how many lockpicks these people have. That's really neat. Ooh, a chest. Can I? Oh, this is gonna be easy. Are you actually kidding me? For real? Like, let's go. First try. A garnet. Oh, a hundred value plus another sixty. Go I can probably afford a undead up to level thirty-five. Entering the circle will flee. Caster heals twenty health per second inside of it. Scroll of Guardian Circle. <clears throat> oh wait, are these scrolls that are actually? Maybe I don't want to sell these. Maybe these are scrolls that I can use for... No, wait, what? I thought I could... I thought I could read these for... No, I didn't want to eat the salt pot. I thought I could use these to, like, gain certain things. I guess not. Oh, we got some... Oh, boy. Okay. Alright. Well, uh... I ate some salt, <laughs> and I got some weakness to magic, so I think we're switching back to the war axe. Get out of here. Get out of here. There's gonna be some spiders around these corners, aren't isn't there? <laughs> A burial urn? Oh, okay. That's weird. This area is creepy. I'm a big fan of this, though. Love this atmosphere. Empty. Empty, of course. Of course. Of course. Why would there be anything in there? Spiders? Ooh, we got two paths. We got one path. That, yeah, it's a dead end. I can't go that way. Let's go the other way. <gasps> okay, alright. I thought the dust was like little spiders coming to get me or something. <laughs> it was just dust specks. Okay, okay. Linen wrap, not worth it. Empty burial urn. I'll take that. I'll take that. I may have to drop some of my pots and buckets that aren't worth anything. Just to lower some of my carry weight a bit. We'll see. Oh. Well, why would you go and do that, bro? Why would you pull the obvious lever in the middle of the room full of... It's your fault, dude. I don't know why you decided to do that. I'll take your gold, though. So, lever kills you. That's good to know. Is there a puzzle here that I'm trying to solve? Potion of healing. Okay, so there's a there's a bird and a whale and another bird is what I'm getting. And there's a snake and a whale. I'm thoroughly confused. I'm just gonna try this. Activate pillar. Oh, Oh, I see. Okay, so snake, something broken, and the wh and the whale. There we go. <clears throat> so I have to figure out what this. Bit oh, the no, the broken pillar is the snake. So it goes snake, snake, whale. Okay, so now if I pull it, I won't die. Ah, I got it right. Wow, I'm such a genius for solving the simplest puzzle in the world. Bro, I've beaten almost every Resident Evil game. I know how these puzzles work, and that was super easy. Motion of Minor Healing. Lesser Soul Gem. I'll take that. Thank you. 25 gold. Potion of Minor Healing. Okay. Read. Thief. Thief by Revan. 
if the reader has yet had the pleasure of reading the first volume in the series on the life of Elsaf Ero, Beggar, he should close this book immediately, for I shan't recap. Okay. Cool. Well, I haven't read Beggar, so I'm going to close it. I follow instructions. Absolutely, I am a rule follower to the very core of my being. Oh! Okay, yeah, no, that, that is a thing I should kill. Burn to a crisp. <sighs> I like how they're sliding down the stairs. I'll take some roast skeever, thank you very much. Yummy, that's my dinner for tonight. A delicacy, to be sure. Weak paralysis potion, scroll of fireball. Don't I already know fireball? I thought I knew- bro. No, I don't know fireball, okay. Scroll of fireball. Fire explosion, now how do I- How do I use this though? I thought I- Huh? Fire explosion for 50 points of damage in a 15 foot radius. <laughs> Targets on fire take extra damage. How do I use that though? I thought I had a potion and I read oh no I had it wasn't it wasn't a scroll that I had before. It was uh it was a book. Is, is someone coming? Is that you, Hawknear? Bjorn, the link. Tis I. But I need help. Something about okay, he said something with a claw. I, I'll help you get the claw. Tis I, Claw Man. Pull out this just to be safe. What is this meter in my? Oh, that's the frost meter. Am I right? Is that a, is that like a frost buildup meter? Because look at it, it's like sparkling in frost. Why is it? Oh, this thing is frostbite. It's not gonna... It's not gonna be deterred by a frostbite thing. Maybe I use flames. I shall burn you to a crisp. I'm also dying. I'm also dying. Uh, give me a potion, please. Your magicka is low. You know, your face is low, so... Ow, why is my... <laughs> I'm scared. Actually, no, give me the give me the warhammer. There we go. W two hand. Okay. Hang on, bro. Let me loot the place first. I want some eggs. Ten gold just sitting in an urn. How much gold do I have now? I should have a lot more. Yeah, four hundred and fifty-two, bro. That's a lot of Don't gold. Shut up! I'll kill you. Help me from here. I just might. Lockpick. You. Shut up, bro. I'm trying to loot the place first. Let me get my spoils of war. Ah. Again, why do I take damage just walking into a spider? Ooh, that's a that that's a drop. Get me down. Get me down. Oh, shut up. Fine. <laughs> Trying not to hit the dude. You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's the golden claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Well, I'll kill you Help if you don't tell me so. Show you. Leave the power the Nords have hidden there. Hand over the claw first. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. All right, I guess. If you insist, we try this because it might do less damage to him. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You 
fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? <laughs> Never should have come here. <laughs> Arvel the Swift, more like Arvel the Cringe. Teabag on you, bro. I don't care about you. Thanks for the claw. Completed. Retrieve the golden claws. Yeah. Arvel's journal. Okay. I need to get rid of some of my stuff because I'm literally almost at max carry weight. Common soul gem. Alright, I'm going to get rid of uh, some of the miscellaneous stuff. Let me just trash some of these baskets. I don't need a broom. I don't need those baskets. I don't need the buckets. How many? All of them. Cast iron pot. Clothes iron. I probably don't need that. These are valuable, though. I don't need the four lanterns. Tank. I don't need 14 tankards, I suppose. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Lost some 50 carry. I just dropped like everything on the ground. I got into a dungeon. Just here, have all my stuff. Doesn't look like there's anything else of use here. And he's dead, and I got the claw. I don't know how it works, but I don't care. I have it. And if nothing else, I can sell it. That's all I care about. Maybe I shouldn't have killed him. Do I care? No. The swift. Oh, there's some droggers. Uh-oh. What are they weak to? Big bonks in the head, probably. Most likely. Bam! I don't know what you just said, but you're cringe. Um, maybe... Maybe flames? Doesn't look like they're too weak to flames. Whoa, what in the world is that? Oh, I ran into a trap. That's what that was. Okay. That makes sense. Ooh, nice. What you got on you, little bro? <clears throat> Ancient Nord Battle Axe. Oh, thanks. I'll take the bone meal and your 10 gold, though. Dude, do all these droggers have gold? Look at all the... Look at all this gold. Money, money. Well, this is wonderful. Oh. Okay. How does one get by without triggering the trap, though? What triggers the trap? No? Okay. Oh, 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 this. Of course. Why didn't I see the massive plate on the ground that would trigger the trap? That's the most obvious thing I've ever seen in my life. Droga. You look like you're going to come to life. Aha, yep, I knew it. I'm going to burn you before you even have a chance to get up. Ah, ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no way. No way. Take that. Take that. Break your kneecaps, little bro. Let's go. Two gold, that's it. Petty soldier, petty. Did you need to tell me twice? Okay. Well, that was weird. Why did he have magic? No, 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 there's more, there's more, there's more. They know I'm here too. Can't hide. Oh. Maybe I can't, never mind. Ow. Come here. Come here, come here, step on that, I dare you. Oh, he walked around it. You're too smart for your own good, little bro. 
Yeah, I'll take that. Your health is low. You should shut up to recover. Amethyst, 120. Sick. Oh, I'm gonna... Is that a... Is that an archer? It is. Ooh. Just narrowly avoided that. What if I can just bum rush him real quick? Oh! I don't know what triggered that crit animation, but that was sick. Let's go. Ancient Lord Era. Ooh. No thanks. I like having a frost axe. Okay. I have survived. There's more. There's more. Are you kidding me? Oh no. That's just a trap. What are we in? Some kind of Sen's Fortress? Money? Oh, 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 yep, 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 yes. Always gotta check for money, you know? Being a hoarder pays off. Look at all this cash money I'm getting from these corpses. Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk? Oh, that's a whole chest up here, bro. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nope. Oh. No. 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 What in the world? First try. Just 12 gold. Seriously? When am I going to level up to two? Oh, I have to- Oh, I have to actually go in here. <coughs> when your level increases, you must choose to increase your health, magicka, or stamina. You can also select a new perk at this time, or save it for later. Available- Jeez, it'd be that loud with it? Available perks are highlighted in each constellation. Oh, oh. Let's go health, just for now. Leveled up. Oh, I leveled up again. Let's go stamina. Sick. I'm level three. I didn't even know that. Works to increase two. Oh, um, <clears throat> my two hand is up. Two handed weapons do 20% more damage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go. Two handed weapons do 40% more damage. I'm just gonna do two handed weapons. Let's go. Full on absolute heathen barbarian mode. <laughs> I made it. We're good. Okay, now I do not trust whatever pressing this chain does. I'm gonna lose my life. Let's go. Oh, it stopped it. Oh, okay. That's good. What are these hole in the walls? What are these holes in the holes in the walls? They really should put a warning or something before they just have a pot of fire drop on your head. Like, how was I supposed to know what that was? Okay, okay, examining. I don't trust these walls, bro. These feel like they're gonna collapse on me. Oh, no. <laughs> Get one shot, little bro. Get one shot. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's got a, he's got a better weapon. Where's the, yeah, ancient Nord battle axe. Iron Warhammer, oh wait. Wait, Iron Warhammer does, does 29 damage now. Cause I got the bonuses, bonuses, bon, 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 bonuses. <laughs> so is it the same? Is the Ancient Nord Battle Axe? It's the same. It's got less weight. Same damage. Less value. 
I could sell my Warhammer. I think I might do that. How's this feel? About the same, I think. Yeah, about the same. But it does the same amount of damage. That's pretty cool. I have an idea. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. He ran at me way too fast. Okay, alright. Was not expecting that. Come here. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, the greatsword looks sick, but it does less damage. Whatever, whatever, come here. Just end it all. I feel like I can one-hit these dudes now. This is so sick. Oh. Hang on, hang on. I need a bit of stamina left. Can't hit one-hit the dudes. It's got a shield, apparently. Come here. There we go. Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> 22 armor for an iron shield. Well, wait, do I have an iron shield on me? Where's the... Wait, where are the shields? Oh, are they are they in apparel? No. They're not in weapons. Where are they? Miscellaneous, perhaps? No. Where are they? They're definitely not in weapons, right? Iron... Maybe I just don't have a shield. I thought I had an iron shield. Am I crazy? So if I get an iron shield and I go to weapons... It's not here. It's not here, bro. Oh, here it is. Okay. Let me just equip that. I don't need the hide shield. I need this. Actually, they seem about the same. I didn't look. <laughs> Such an idiot. Uh, Iron Shield is 22 armor. Iron Shield is 70. Yeah, okay, so it is more. It is more. That's fine. I'll take it. Uh, but also... Oh, is the... Is the frost... Like, the frost... It's not a frost build-up, is it? It's like the amount of frost it has. Does it run out of frost? Do I have to recharge it? That's kind of stupid. If you ask me. Hey, can we go up to that? Thank you. This is very intriguing. I'm sorry this episode is slow, but I'm just kind of like taking in how everything works here. Sorry if this episode is less entertaining. Ooh, we got it. Oh boy, here it comes again. Come here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Give me your gold. You know the drill. Wait, what? Ancient Ord Warhammer 32 damage? I'll take that. I can drop some stuff. Um. I guess I'll drop this. Drop. There we go. Sick. I can beat them to a pulp with a massive hammer. And that I'll put in my favorites. Okay. Let's keep going. Chest. Gold. Arrow. Yes, please. Thank you for the arrows being zero weight. That's nice. I thought there was going to be a trap. I had to step away from that. Okay, we continue. Ooh, little candles for ambience. I like how the Draugrs are in little interior decorators. <laughs> They're undead barbarians, but also they put some candles in the hallway to make it look nice. Oh, wait. Oh, glowing mushrooms. What, but I can't pick those? I can just pick one of them? <gasps> Is that the exit? Can I find the way out? Give me more, please. Oh, thank you. I don't think I need a pickaxe for anything. Unless you can mine for things. 
gold, minor stamina. See, another scroll of fireball. How do I use that, though? How does one... Do I even need to say it? Look at that. Look at the way... Look at the subtle glare effect. Look at the way the... The sun comes through. That's so beautiful. These caves are very green. What makes it green? Probably the glowing mushrooms, if I had to guess. I answered my own question before I even asked. Give me the glowing mushrooms. Thank you. This is going to lead to that little bridge, right? Yep. How do you... I didn't make a single sound and you knew I was here, little bro. Take that. Cool. I need my mushrooms, though. Give me as much as I can. Take. <laughs> I'm kicking skulls everywhere. So I can go down. Or I can go this way. What's this way? This seems like it would be a dead end. Gluing mushrooms. I need more. Maybe this isn't a dead end? Wait, no, that's that's the way to continue. So so what's down? Is down the dead end then? Now I have to go check it out. Obviously. We gotta explore everywhere. Yeah, this is the dead end. I definitely cannot go this way. Right? Yes. Okay, we got some skeevers. A skelly boy with some gold. That's a welcome sight. Bone meal and gold. Novice? I'm a novice. Actual first try for real this time. Let's go. Alright, that was worth it. Back up. This is a big cave. I did not expect this cave to be so massive. Okay. So this is... I'm assuming continuing the path of the main quest. Oh, I found a door. Yep, this is it. This has to be it. Were you floating for a second there, buddy? Don't think I didn't see that. This game is how old and still has all these bugs? Oh, you're powerful. Y'all mind if I... Heavy armor increase to 16. Come here. Come here. Come here, I'll beat you to a Skill issue. Skill issue. That's what happens when you're a Draugr. Another W for me? Why? How flimsy are these lockpicks? First try. Let's go. I'm getting a lot of gold now. 729 gold. I almost have enough for a horse. I think that's everything here. And onwards we push. Bleak Falls Sanctum. Oh my goodness, there's more to this place. This is this is cool. I could I, I could live here. I could see myself living here, honestly. It's a very comforting hall. Hmm. <laughs> Oh boy. Back at it again. Nye. 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 Just too good, bro. I played Sense Fortress. I know how. No way. No way I miss. Two hand increase to 30. Give me your gold. I know you got that gold on you, bro. Potion of resist cold. Come here. Yep, come here. <laughs> I can one-shot you, dudes. You're nothing to me. Why can't I take... What are the... Come here. No. I, how did you... Come here. Can't time that's that... That well. <sighs> Extremely rude. Now, the Ancient Nord Bow. Can I only fire Ancient Nord arrows with an Ancient Nord Bow? Is that what I'm getting from this? Anybody in here? Knock, knock. 
I'm gonna take out my bow. Just in case I have to shoot any of these fire things and set these dudes on fire. Hmm, that looks dangerous. This place is a little bit big. Oh, I gotta go, I'm sorry. Oh. I don't know what I'm looking for. I mean, the Dragonstone, obviously, but where might one find a Dragonstone? I knocked over the candle. My bad. Excuse me, what was that? We got some hieroglyphs. What is this? The goddess of the Luna Moths? And her followers? A dude with two sticks? And some other dudes? And a dog? And a dog, aww. That's a, the dude with two sticks again. That's a dude with wings. And the dog. Seems like the these parts are the same, but it's the middle parts that are different sometimes. That's a fire dude. Okay, what am I looking at? So we have moth, owl, bear. Oh boy. Um Does this have anything to do with this? So it goes moth. Can't tell what that is. Is this supposed to be an animal? But there's four of these. Moth. Something dude. Something dude. Fire dude. I'm I'm so confused. Like, what am I supposed to <sighs> bear? Maybe I should have listened to the dude. Maybe he would have told me, but also maybe not. I actually don't think he would have told me anything, actually. Do I have a book on that or something? No. I don't know how I'm supposed to figure this out. So, uh, I'm just going to brute force it and we'll see what happens. Oh, wait. Wait, never mind. Hang on. I don't have to brute force it. I'm looking at the claw itself. There it is. This is so simple. Why didn't I look? <laughs> it's bear, moth, owl. Okay. There we go. Easy. My skill issue is a simple puzzle issue. If I've learned anything from Resident Evil, it's always examine your items. Let's go! W me once again. Please tell me the dragon th scripted bat attack. Please tell me the dragon stone is here. There's no Draugr in there. That's suspicious. TM. Screenshot. There we go. Okay. 
I wanted to take a screenshot and then I forgot how to, uh, like I was messing around with menus but I was hitting the wrong buttons. This looks, oh, again, it's the rays coming through the ceiling, dude. That is my weakness. I don't trust any of this. Weak Frenzy Poison, Petty Soul Gem. Is that the Petty Soul Gem of the Petty variety? I'm scared. I just want to open the chest, man. I just, I don't know what this is. 77 gold. Studded armor and battle axe. Copper ruby circle at 150? Wow. Okay, what is this? And the suitably falls bro, I find the owner of the golden claw. Wow. I learned a word of power. Oh! Draugr Overlord? It's okay, I'll just beat him to a pulp. Who's Roda? There we go, there we go. Skill issue. Mini boss, not even that hard. Oh, there's the dragon's tongue. There we got it. My carry weight is getting up there. <laughs> uh, nice, 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 nice. We did it. That was perfect. Now how to leave? This way, most likely. Well, that was fun. That was that was an easy quest. Our first quest. That was an easy one. Wait, where do I? Can I leave from here? How do I leave? What? There's no way out. Huh? It's telling me to go this way, but I. How does one go? What? What? Guys, am I crazy? Oh. Uh, yes, I am. I'm looking at this. I'm like, there's nothing to press. It's on top. Obviously. Very cool. Oh, this was. This is above, uh, was this above Dorothy's bed? I'll take the skull, sure, and the purple mountain flower, and the, and the other mountain flowers, sure. 62, got potion of pickpocketing. Alright. I'm no pickpocketer, I'm a decent person. Oh, into the light. All of the lights. Alrighty. Very cool. I cleared Bleak Falls Barrow. That was beautiful. Alright. Now I'm going to... Ooh, 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 ooh. How does one get down? Perhaps. You know what? I'm just gonna... No fall damage. Woo! What is this? That looks like the skull of something menacing. Oh my goodness. Mammoth skulls? Yeah, mammoth skulls. Am I gonna have to fight mammoths? Need a pickaxe to What did I just say five minutes ago? I should have grabbed a pickaxe. I'm such an idiot. So now what, I go back to Whiterun? Is that what I'm hearing? Yes. What if I just fast travel? I know I said I wouldn't fast travel, but just to end the episode. Beautiful. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. War maidens. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Your Wolf, Wolf Birth War Bear. What do you got for sale? <laughs> can I sell some? Can I sell some stuff? I can't talk. Can I sell some stuff? 
Here, you wanna... Let's go, I can sell these. Sell the great sword. Sell a couple of those, sell that. Uh, 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 maybe I wanna use this. This looks pretty sick, actually. And an iron shield. What is my current shield? Iron shield 22, and that's 24. Yeah, I'll, okay, so I'll sell this. Uh, you can have that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. That's cringe. I don't need that. 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 There's no point in me keeping these things, right? Like, I should just sell these. Miscellaneous. Can I not just sell random things? Wolf pelts. Let me know what I use wolf pelts and horse hide for if I do use them for anything. Maybe for like. I probably do them for like artisan stuff. And I probably use iron ingots and charcoal as well. Can I. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, I didn't even check what. much anything to suit your needs. And check what he had. What do you got, bro? I think everything I have is better than what you have. Yeah, can I. My current thing is 20. Yeah, 32 damage. So, I mean, he's got Steel Warhammer, but I'm not paying 333 gold for that. That's the same thing. Yeah. I'm doing business with you. Yeah, you too. Adrian. Have you met my father? Oh. He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. You look yeah, like this you is... Need a new weapon. The, Something big, perhaps? This is An the... Axe, maybe? This is or the... Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Please shut up. Okay. This Most is of the... our weapons were crafted by Adrian Abenici. My woman's an artist, is you what she is. You think all the council my father Please stop talking. Huh. Let's just say I this is the couple that Mikhail wrote about. about. The big dude and the... His wife. Uh, I'm gonna real quick... See if I can buy a horse. Because that seems like a good investment. Actually, no, I'll do that, I'll do that later. Never mind. That's a next episode kind of thing, I think. I'll figure that out at a later date. Right now, I'm just going to go talk to Balgruff. Bar Bar that is his name, right? Bar Balgruff? Bal Balgruff? Balgruff. I'm trying to throw an R in there. Shut up, Mila Valencia. It's fun most days. The hard work. What time is it? It feels like it's... Oh, I guess it is evening. I spent the entire day in that dungeon, bro. That was... It was a long dungeon. That was cool, though. I think I'm getting the hang of the combat. I really like this, actually. Combat feels a little janky, but it's... It's, uh... Starting to grow on me. It has its charm. And it's jank, you know? Okay, Mr. Wizard Dude. I got your Dragonstone. You now what? The terminology is clearly first era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest. So I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. They have, I've seen them. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think you're employed. Okay, shut up, just take ah, your stupid thing. The dragon <gasps> stone of Yay! Wakefall's barrel. I got an achievement. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. I am. So what about my reward? Yeah, he's been rude to me. I'm gonna be rude to him back. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm <sighs> sure one of them will be. Adrian Avenici? My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. Delphine? She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You're welcome, bro. You into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Yeah, I risked my life with all those Draugr. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
you should come to I should dragon How let's go I'm you excited well, what was it doing I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you if a dragon decides to attack white run I don't know if we can stop it can we walk faster please my let's default go. walk speed is faster than so Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. Hmm. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me for sure. Come after me for sure. Walk, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food, rest. You've earned it. Irileth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. I'm level three. Do you know what that means, Balgraf? For me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. I can get a house now. Please accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of court. Dude, I am gripped in this story. I love everything about this. Uh, okay, so this is... Less armor, but increases shock resistance. Sure, I'll, I'll put those on. We got some I maps here. Shut up. Oh, you're the steward. Not, oh, oh, and your daughter married the, the weapon steward. Ah, see, I'm making these connections. Oh my goodness, I love this game so much. So this is Skyrim. We got the little map. There's Solitude up there. There's Whiterun. There's Riverwood. Rift. What's this? What's the, is, is this all of Tamriel? Mayhaps? Or is this just... No. No, this is just a different map of Skyrim. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, I think that's a good place to end this episode. So, next episode, I will be fighting the dragon with Irolith. So, that will be fun. Uh, I... <laughs> I love this game even more after the second episode, somehow. I know this is a little bit of a slower episode, and I'm sorry if you're bored. Um, I don't care. Deal with it. There might be some episodes like this that are slower. But this was a ton of fun. I got a little bit more acquainted with the combat. I read up some more on like the history of the place. I'm starting to understand the connections between the people and like remember people's names and their relationships with other people and things like that i'm now able to purchase a house so that's cool there's a few things i'm still iffy on let me know if i can sell if i should sell those gems that are worth like hundreds of dollars hun gold hundreds of gold that i saw let me know if i should sell those and where i can sell those uh, or, or what i should do with them or if it's a spoiler just tell me it's a spoiler um and also what I should do with those scrolls because I've got these scrolls that I don't know how to use like I can equip them I guess is that if is that what this is like, like equip oh oh Okay. So, ha what? Oh, th oh, they're a one-time use, and I just wasted that. Okay, I got it. 
I understand now. I I get it now. But I think I should sell these. I feel like the effects aren't worth the money that I can get with this. So, <laughs> uh, let me know if I should. Because that seems like something cool I can do. Uh, and then, I'll read some more books later. What else was there? There's something else I wanted to know, right? I don't remember. Well, if there's something else I asked, let me know. Yeah, what should I do with, like, the soul gems? Should I sell these? How do I sell these? What do I do? I'm assuming the horse hide ironing, the horse hide ironing gets... Uh, stuff like that is, like, crafting stuff? For artists and things? Yeah, the, ameth the amethyst, garnets. What can I do with those? How can I profit, basically? All right. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. Be sure to like the video, comment, all that fun stuff. Uh, let me know how you're liking the playthrough so far. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.